Hello boys and girls, guess what time it is? It's story time! Hello everyone, this is Miss Marcy, I'm bringing to you another story. So, let's sing together. It's story time, it's story time, you haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 And our story today is the Paper Crane by Molly Bang. The Paper Crane by Molly Bang. So, let's see what this story is all about. The Paper Crane. Okay. I'll show you the pictures before I start reading. Read it together. Just a bit. A man once owned a restaurant on a busy road. He loved to cook good food and he loved to serve it. He worked from morning until night and he was happy. There he is. But a new highway was built close by. Travelers drove straight from one place to another and no longer stopped at the restaurant. M many days went by when no guests came at all. The man became very poor and had nothing to do but dust and polish his empty plates and tables. See, that's the restaurant there, the highway. Everybody drive by. That's the man there, cleaning, but no customers came in. One evening, a stranger came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual, gentle manner. So there he is. Though he said he had no money to pay for the food, the owner invited him to sit down. He cooked the best meal he could make and served him like a king. When the stranger had finished, he said to the host, I cannot pay you with money, but I would like to thank you in my own way. He picked up a paper napkin from the table and folded it into the shape of a crane. You have only to clap your hands and this bird will come to life and dance for you. Take it and enjoy it while it is with you. With those words, the stranger left. So he left a paper crane with some instructions. It happened just as the stranger had said. The owner had only to clap his hands and the paper crane became a living bird, flew down to the floor and danced. Wow. Soon, word of the dancing crane spread and people came from far and near to see the magic bird perform. Wow, so a lot of people were coming back to his restaurant. The owner was happy again, for his restaurant was always full of guests. He cooked and served and had company from morning until night. Wow, look at so many people. The weeks pass and the months and people still came to his restaurant. One evening, 
a man came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual gentle manner. The owner knew him at once and was overjoyed. He was so happy to see him. The stranger, however, said nothing. He took a flute from his pocket, raised it to his lips, and began to play. What do you think is about to happen? The crane flew down from its place on the shelf and danced as it had never danced before. Hmm. The stranger finished playing, lowered the flute from his lips, and returned it to his pocket. He climbed on the back of the crane, and they flew out the door and away. Hmm, he came back to get his crane. The restaurant still stands by the side of the road, and guests still come to eat the good food and hear the story of the gentle stranger and the magic crane made from a paper napkin. But neither the stranger nor the dancing crane has ever been seen again. The end. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell. Give thumbs up. And I'll see you next time around on Storytime with Miss Marcia. Bye.